Air conditioning is one of the biggest energy uses in the home. I'm Chuck Booten and I'm going to be talking today about five simple things that you can do as a homeowner to make your air conditioner more energy efficient, which will save you energy, make your house more comfortable, and save you money. A roughly one out of every eight dollars that Americans spend on their utility bills goes into cooling their homes. And that's a lot of money in and of itself, but also air conditioning is one of the big drivers of uh, what we call peak energy, which is uh, the strain on the grid during a hot summer day. I'm hoping that homeowners will see this and take the 15 or 20 minutes it actually takes to do this installation uh, to save themselves a lot of energy, a lot of money. So what you see here is a, an example of a standard window air conditioner installation. This is what you might see if you use just the materials that were supplied by the manufacturer. And this isn't bad, but there are definitely things that you can do to improve it. Light comes in, air can come in too. And that reduces the performance quite a bit and can really affect your comfort. And this happens all the way around the edges of your installation. So on the side here, you see these accordion panels, and these are made out of plastic typically. But there's no insulating value there. So when your window is closed, your window is actually a pretty good insulator. This eliminates a lot of that, but we can fix that too. Here we have all the supplies you'll need to get started. These are all available at your local home improvement warehouse. There are a variety of different styles of foam. You can get different thicknesses and some have coatings that are more weather durable. And it's all up to you and your personal preference. If you choose a foam that has a color that you don't like that much, you can also add some tape onto the outside. Then you have your tape. Now this is actually fairly important. If you have windows that have paint or stain on them, tape could leave residue or it could peel some of that paint. So you want to be careful. If you have a window that has paint, you should consider using a tape that has a little bit less adhesion. It might save you some trouble later on. If you're going to install a diverter, you'll need a piece of semi-rigid board. Medium density fiber board usually works well. You can get it faced or unfaced, and usually around 1 8 to a quarter of an inch will fit most air conditioners. And be sure that whatever tools that you're using, you're comfortable with, and always make sure that you have the proper safety equipment. Step one is to remove the accordion panels. And there's a little keeper on the side here, and you can see I'm, I have my finger in the bottom and there's a little hole to push that up. And then you slide it out, no tools required. And then this slides, you can set those pieces aside. And then on the, the unit itself, there's another little sliding piece. And you can slide that out as well. After you remove the accordion panels, you want to replace this. So Ed and I are going to this. You've got to make sure that it's set correctly. You don't want this falling out of your window. So we have that correct. Step two is measuring and then cutting and installing foam. So you'll need to find out how wide, that's about 10 inches, and about how tall you need, and that's about 15 and a half. So here are a couple of foam panels that I've already cut to size for this particular window. And you can see that it's fairly tight in there. You can see it's nice and even up against the, uh, the window frame, and that's good. So now we'll go on to the other panel. Step three is to seal between the windows. This is an example of an open cell foam that is typically supplied by a manufacturer, and it does a reasonable job. This is an example of closed cell foam, which does a much better job at air sealing, so we're going to use this. Step four is to use Baccarat, oftentimes smaller, they're sold in different diameters so you'll have to match it to your window, to seal up the side channels. This is an easy thing to forget, but it's also an easy thing to fix. Step five is to tape around all of the joints and around all of the foam. You want to make sure to seal up all of the air gaps to prevent leakage. The blower door test is a fairly standard test that's done with many home uh, audits or energy assessments. The total air leakage reduction that came from the difference between the manufacturer's accessories and our recommended method was roughly equivalent to a hole that was five square inches in diameter. That is actually about 10% of the whole home's leakage. 
So it's pretty substantial when you think about the fact that many homes which have a window air conditioner probably have several. And so by applying this method of better installation, you can really seal up a number of holes which are about five square inches each. For best performance, you can install a diverter. And what this does is prevent the air that you just spent money and energy cooling from getting sucked back into the air conditioner. You're going to be more comfortable because you're getting the cooling effect that you're paying for. You're also going to be helping to reduce the strain on our nation's power grid, so you're improving our energy security. And uh, lastly, you're helping the environment by reducing the carbon emissions that come from the power that you're using. So this is it. It's that easy. Now for our purposes today, we use this particular tape and foam, but you can customize this however you want. If you do, you too can save money, energy, and make your house more comfortable.